Hello, this is Captain Spoxy. We have a wonderful video for you today. I'm talking a fake British accent because I feel like it. This is more Australian. Whatever. So, um, this video is on different redstone uh, logic gates. The first one we have is an AND gate. And basically, you have to power this first one. You have to power it so it turns off. And then you turn this off. This will turn on. And then you can power something else. Good for custom maps, because then you have to find two different things, and then you can go through the iron door or whatever to walk into your path. Next, it's an ore gate, and basically, there's two different. You have to like, activate the two different levers. You have to hit the two different levers for it to turn on, and then this will turn off. So yeah, you'll have to activate these two levers. It's a good system. Now this is a not gate. Pretty simple. Basically, uh, turning that lever off, this torch turns on, and place the door here. Um, yeah, so that's how that works. This is an RS NOLAT, and basically you can reset the systems. Uh, you can switch the systems like this. Where's the iPad? Totally had it. Where? Okay, next um is a repeater without using a redstone repeater. And so this is on, and then that's off. But um, basically then there's this torch here, and then you can just do this. Um, yeah. Um, basically it works by this torch will turn off because of this but then since it's attached to this wall kind of, kind of confusing but it won't give out any input when it's turned on then, or, well when it's turned on it'll give this input but it won't go back and then pause this torch and when it's not this torch isn't powered then this torch will turn on and then it goes and since there's two and since it's a redstone Torch here, it'll go another 15 blocks. So it's like a repeat it without delay. Well, a small delay because the torch is lighting. But then the next we have a NOR gate. It's very similar. Oh, I broke that. It's very similar to the OR gate, it was called. Yeah, it's very similar to this OR gate. Just a little bit different. But, um,. Uh, you don't have to hit each one, confusing, kind of. So next, this is a, a NAND gate. NAND gate, kind of confusing. But, it's like a, um, it's like a, an AND gate, but, um, you only need one torch to power it. So it's a little bit better in some ways. And next, this is a XOR gate. So it's like an X, but it's like an OR gate. And when these torches turn on, these torches will turn off. And then, these torches will, this torch will turn on, powering the system. Don't exactly know what these are for. I just built them. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites cuz so you can power that piston alone or you can power them both at the same time the one on the very back there too this one only makes that one go this one makes them both go it's fun to hit it repeatedly I could actually hook up a um, repeating circuit to that and then go maybe like sticky pistons make it look really cool now this one is a X nor gate and these X's make the face they basically look like an X here and this part is just to help the piston but basically for this um what's really cool is doesn't matter which one you use it will just switch positions even if this torch is on on mode uh, these torches are both on on mode it'll go switch it Pretty cool. I like it. Just you know, refreshness. And then this is um 
a T flip flop. Yeah, T flip flop game. It's confusing. So that's off. That's on. And then you could hook this up, or it turns off for a little bit. Um, and then you could just hook this up to an RSNR latch or something. And that'll happen. And this is one of my favorites. It's actually built to be facing this way. It's a piston T flip flop gate. Wait, you press the button, switches. It's pretty cool. I don't know, just the fact that you're moving them at exactly the same time and everything is pretty cool. So these were three um, gates, and then I I made a couple buildings um, that involve them and the different circuits. I think I I have a, a, a different kind of um uh, uh get lock I guess. Let's find this wall. Can't get past it, girl. But maybe you can. Actually, I think I have. Yep. You press the button, you wait a while. You're just waiting. Just waiting. Okay, I don't think I pressed the button. Okay, I pressed the button. And then it opens. Basically, how it works is when these torches go off, because it shoots into the torches, they go off, then they power this. So when they go off, this will not be powered. So then this will turn on. This will turn off. And then this one will turn on. And it sends a signal all the way through to that door. And we'll close it like that. So, you just have to... You just have to place one in it. Like that. And what's, what's good but kind of bad about this one is that, um... If you put one in here, and you did it, so I shot it. What happens? See, they fall through the cobwebs and then they'll fall. What happens is this will activate this pressure plate, but oh, did I close the door? Hmm. That's strange. This is still experimental with me. So I'm kind of testing it out, so don't leave an angry comment saying, you didn't even know what to do, blah, blah. But, let's see. Hmm. Well, I guess that's how you get past it, but you could sync some up, so. This, I guess. And then. Actually, maybe we could sync it like that, so then. Actually, no, the reason it's synced up. See, this is still pretty experimental for me. It just doesn't even, it's synced up like this, so then. When you press it, it. Um, CQ. Hmm. I guess I'll have to look back at it and fix this. But that's how that works. So, um, this was one of them. Then the second system I have in a more building like format. It's over here. I feel this, this thing up there is a huge building platform. Basically, here's how it's made. So, um, so, um, there's a torch here, which means this one, to activate it correctly, you need, um, it to be in the off, the lever, other, but next to it, to be, the lever opposite of it on this block to be in the on position, or I mean off position. These need to be on the on position. I think they are. No, these are all on. Basically, when it works like that, this will turn on. Power this. Turn that off. Then there's the enter button. It'll turn this off. Turning this on temporarily. Then it sends it to this RS neural latch. 
switching it, opening the door, and then this button, this button back here, it um, resets the RS in our latch. So um, let's give it a go. Uh, I guess I suppose it's kind of dark, but so up, it's supposed to be up, up, down, enter. And I don't have my volume on, so yeah, the door opened, and then close that. Don't want that there. Just closes it. Um. Yeah, because it works because um when these levers are in the correct position, it will turn off. When in the correct position, yeah, it'll turn off this torch. And then when you press the center button, it'll turn off this torch. And if they're both off, this AND gate will um turn this torch on. And you use the RS Norlatch to switch the position. So you switch it to the on mode and the door will open. And then you just reset the circuit like that. So this is one of the pretty easy um, uh, combination code things to implement. Um, so, and actually, once you have the door open, so you have the door open, you can switch the con. The you can move back so no intruders come. The door will stay open, and then you reset it. Um, and to prove that this doesn't work when the combination is different, combination is wrong. And let's go see if that works. Nope, the door is closed. So, this is why it works. And then, this will probably open the door. This is kind of like a second combination. No. Well, so yeah, the combination for mine is just up, up, down. Oh, I broke it. Because, uh, what happens is when this is down, won't we'll power it. So then, when these are both not powering, this, and then this one's down, so it isn't powering. Or when this one's up and it isn't powering, and these ones um aren't powering either. Um, it'll send. Actually, no. This one is in the correct position when it's down because it's powering the torch and you want it to be powered to, so this tor torch will turn on. And you want it to be not powered, excuse me, so this tor torch will turn on. So then, um, turn, goes into the AND gate, press this button, and it'll flick it, and then if it's correct, send it to the last launch. I've covered that a bunch, but I just want to make sure you understand. And then, yeah, that was the system, and actually I can show you the repeating system. Basically, this is the repeating system. You don't need the lever over here. Basically, what happens is the signal comes, gets delayed while the signal goes, and then when the signal reaches the signal again, it turns off pretty much. And the reason this repeater helps it is because, um... The reason the repeater helps is because without the repeater, the torches would burn themselves out, and that's bad. But now that it's like this, so this is kind of delaying the signal. And I have it sent to a couple places for my custom apps. This is part of it. Ah, always the door is always messed up. Uh, I gotta fix that there. Oh no, I'm shot. Oh, godness. Godness gracious. <laughs> this is bad. Gotta collect those eggs, though. Duh, my inventory's full. Wow, I have a lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. But, um... Yeah, so these were the... Several systems um and thank you for watching this is captain sparkly please subscribe uh bye bye thanks leave comments for other redstone things bye